The wisdom of Yi Jin is for the least to reach the ultimate peace in the world. Welcome to Professional Yi Jin Feng Shui TV station, Weixin TV station. This is Fiona serving you Weixin News at 11.30 p.m. Monday, May 14th, 2018. Today we are going to show you the special report on the annual ritual, Wang Chan Lao's birthday celebration and water earth ritual. From May 5th to May 12th, every aspect in this ritual is the most inspiring and enlightening presentation of Wei Xin Shen Jiao's culture. Let's have a look. On May 5th, with Master Yuan Tong Chan Shi marched in front, the eminent monks and Vajra masters purified the altars at Wei Xin Shen Jiao headquarters, Chan Ji Shan Xianfo Temple, for Dharma sessions with the holy and solemn rite in a cordial atmosphere. The magical power of merciful Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are blessing for the spirits of the six kinds of rebirth and all the spirits of the three realms. Plenty of virtuous believers gathered at the Pure Land altar to summon the spirits of their ancestors, karma creditors, and spirits with karmic affinity to be seated on their lotus seats to learn the Dharma. On May 6th, all virtuous fellows came to attend the holy water earth ritual in the early morning in the visual lotus tablet inquiry service, prayer statement service, and tripod jewel statement service were the busiest services during the ritual. Many virtuous fellows and volunteers were delighted to answer all questions to guide attendees how to correctly write the prayer statement and the procedure of worshipping at Pure Land Altar. Attendees with thankful heart lined up in front of Pure Land Altar and chanted sutra together to summon the spirits of ancestors, descendants, and karmic creditors to attend the ritual to learn the Dharma and to resolve grievances with the merciful heart. Pureness and solemnness fill the Dharma venue of Sulangama Sutra Altar and Lotus Sutra Altar as the ritual started. Eminent masters chanted the sutras with pure mind. Participants at the ritual wore hiking garments to chant sutra in unison with the eminent masters to share the blessings with all sentient beings. Wish all sentient beings able to benefit from the Dharma and steer clear of three poisons and derivative afflictions. From now on, no longer commit to all sorts of evil karma. The yoga framing mouth mandala was set in the grand mandala of Emperor Liang. Vajra Guru used the power of Guan Yin Bodhisattva to transcend spirits. The volunteer team of Wei Xin Shen Jiao met all their efforts to place the offering tables all over the temple where the mountains and lakes and pools blossomed. The sound of Sanskrit sounding entered every bean source. The ancestors and the spirits of three realms and six kinds of rebirth came to receive the offerings. We were grateful to Vajra Gurus and eminent monks and all those who participate in the Blackshirt Volunteer Group. They were busy from the early morning to the late night. The Yoga Framing Mouth Rite was completed successfully. On May 7th, the rituals of the Inner Mandala were started. All the virtuous fellows were dressed in hiking garment and solemnly entering the inner mandala. All masters invited three Vajra gurus to preside the rite. With the beautiful singing, the holy spirits of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas radiantly arrived at the altar and the masses circumnavigated the mountains and purified all altars and sites. Vajra guru purified the altar with purified water. After the enchantment was completed, in the afternoon, the rite of food distribution and the banner erection was proceeded. He aimed to make an announcement of the water earth ritual to summon all spirits and ask the officers in hell to temporarily release the suffered spirits to be able to attend this great Dharma feast. Wei Xin Shen Jiao Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi benevolently held the water earth ritual for the Dharma Ren spirits in order to successfully notify all spirits this important message. Before the ritual, we raised banners to summon all spirits. 
at the inner mandala, Vajra Guru declaimed the ritual statement, which included date, time, and place. Then Vajra Guru put statements in the envelope and delivered to four notice officers. Officers would dispatch letters immediately and ensure all listing spirits were informed to attend the ritual. Besides, near the main gate of Shenfo Temple, there was a general officer's made of paper to guard the mandala and erecting banners to show spirits how to get to Shenfo Temple. On May 8th, at the inner mandala, we held the inviting ceremony to invite all Buddhas, deities, Bodhisattvas, holy Zhu Shi, and Dharma protectors from ten directions to descend to the upper hole. We sincerely pray that all living beings and participants could attain blessings from Buddhas and get away from suffering by the empowerment of Buddhas to remain happy and peaceful. The Water Earth ritual required a great deal of manpower and resources. The staves and virtuous volunteers dedicated all their will and effort to ensure that everything proceeded smoothly. The traffic control team was tirelessly working for transportation arrangement either under the hot sun or heavy rain. The cooking volunteers not only wake up at 4 a.m. for making preparations for the altar's offerings in the early morning, but also busy for preparing delicacies and fruits for the ritual. More than that, they also were responsible for making lunch for attendees and virtuous fellows. The volunteers of the service counter and the Pure Land altar gave all attendees warm reception to help them check the Lotus Tablet numbers and to instruct the way of worshipping. We sincerely thank for all volunteers' devotion to help all attendees' success in participating in the Grand Ritual. Weishi News, Headquarters, Changji Shan Xianfo Temple. Take a break, we will come back soon. Let's move on to see the next news. During the Water Earth ritual, the spirits from the ten Dharma directions were summoned to learn the Sutra chanting and receive the offerings from their descendants. Besides, we set up handling tablets for the wandering spirits to attend the ritual. Moreover, mortals who intend to repent of their sins could come to the Grand Mandala of Emperor Liang, where they could resolve the grievances by attending the repentance rite under the witness of Buddha. As to the Longevity Mandala, it was intended for those who prayed for household blessings and longevity by setting their personal longevity blessing tablets. Thanks to the merits of the Grand Ritual, we were blessed with time they ran on May 8th afternoon, quenching the thirst of our land. Despite inconveniences, the volunteers still performed their duty in the rain with happiness in their hearts. According to the rite, we made six offerings, including incense, flowers, oil lamps, and treasures to the ten Buddha, Bodhisattvas, and the spirits of the saints at the inner mandala. We reverently pray to Buddha to show forgiveness on sentient beings and to transfer the merits to them.
later in the afternoon, the rite of forgiveness for the sins of spirits took place. Vajra Guru summoned spirits through the help of messengers who were capable of delivering their religious statements to the hell of iron railings. The messengers appealed to the kings of the hell for the temporary release of the spirits. In this way, all the spirits would be able to attend the grand ritual. On May 10th, each mandala preceded the rituals respectively. In the morning, the inner mandala held the Buddhist offering, and in the afternoon, the offerings to the lower hall. With sounds from chanting sutras, Vajraguru led all virtuous believers with incenses and flowers to sincerely worship the summoned 14 spirits, such as the heaven, people, azura, the hell, the hunger, the animal, and so on from the six paths. <laughs> Masters and the virtuous believers all attended the ritual with their pure hearts to invite the spirits of ancestors and karma creditors. <music> Masters led all spirits to take a bath, to be clothed, in order to purify the spirits from six paths to take refuge in three jewels with a solemn rite. With the serious and rigorous dharma, the spirits from six paths should follow all those dharma and hold it sincerely from body, mouth, mind, for the whole life to be able to be reborn in the Western Buddhist Pure Land.
Weixin News, Headquarters, Sanjishan Xianfo Temple. Take a break. We will come back soon. Let's move on to see the next news. On May 11th, that was the 26th day of the third month of the lunar calendar, was exactly the birthday of Wang Chan Lao Zhu. The birthday was celebrated at 11 p.m. at night. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi led virtuous fellows to celebrate birthday of Wang Chan Lao Zhu and to sincerely appreciate Wang Chan Lao Zhu's gratefulness to eliminate disasters and resolve grievances. In birthday celebration and water earth ritual, Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi led all virtuous fellows to sincerely worship Buddha and Bodhisattva to pray to heaven for the blessings on auspiciousness, prosperity, and safety of Taiwan, as well as world peace. The ritual was getting close to the end all virtuous fellows try their best to spend their time on attending the ritual to show their filial piety to resolve grievances. In the afternoon, the feasted offerings by five bodhisattvas will be provided for all the spirits and sentient beings. Five Vajra Gurus use the power of bodhisattva to transcend spirits to make offerings for them without being hungry. The seven-day ritual was successfully completed. All virtuous fellows reverently followed Vajra Guru to recite the name of Amitabha Buddha to see up the spirits of ancestors and karma creditors so that all the spirits could take the Dharma ship back to the Western Buddhist Pure Land.
I sincerely thank masters, eminent monks, volunteers, virtuous fellows, and all believers for their great efforts and contributions to this successful ritual. Weixin News, Headquarters, Chanjishan Xianfo Temple.